and you live off campus. What to bring to school? It's a lot is semi useless in this class. Welcome back to my channel. It's me. It's I. My name is Akari Sebao and I'm back with another video. So this particular video has been like a requested video. Like I've had a lot of comments asking, okay, when am I, when am I going to do the part two? That has a follow-up video of the what the internet doesn't tell you about the Benedio University video. I told you guys to ask your questions on that and I was going to answer it in another video and I'm sorry the video came late but it's finally here, so let's get into the video. P.S. I'm not in 500 level. I'm not in my final year. Yeah, I finished my final exams today, and yes, I'm finishing. I'm shooting the video the day I finished my exams. So please subscribe because that took a lot of ginger. So let's get right into the video, shall we? Sorry, any questions that has to do with the admission, jam score, just questions like that? Because I got some quite of kind of questions that. Can 160 get me um, admission? Can 170 get me admission? I got a lot of questions like that. I feel like you should visit our school's um, portal, the website www.iuokada.edu.ng. Then you'll be able to answer those questions. You can contact the numbers that are there because I really can't say much about the admission process because I don't know if you realize, but I am not a staff of the school, I'm just merely a student. You are allowed to pay your school fees instrumentally. The payment plan is quite flexible. You can pay 60% for first semester. Like you must complete a 60% payment before you write your first semester exam. And for second semester, you must finish up the remaining 40%. We have Wi-Fi, you I will not lie. We have Wi-Fi, but is the Wi-Fi strong? Is the question you should be asking because you can get the Wi-Fi password, you can go and meet them in the IC department, they will give you the Wi-Fi password and all, oh, but is the Wi-Fi password, strong? is the Wi-Fi strong? That's the question you should be asking. <laughs> Bro, you're not in your father's house. <laughs> How do you expect school to give you constant light and water? For water, they have times in which they bring water. You know that, okay, in the morning you're sure of water, and then in the night you're sure of water, but Within the afternoon, if you want to use water, you have to fetch it against the afternoon. That's you have to fetch it in the morning or in the night. So, one of the essentials you need to bring to this school is a drum, bucket, and basically things for storing water. And then for constant light, hmm, my dear, <laughs> so we don't have constant light. Not because we do not have constant light in the school, but because they put off lights in the hostel. So, between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. on regular school days, they switch off the lights in the hostel because it's expected that students are supposed to be in school by then and it's a good thing because sometimes even when you don't want to go to school when you realize that ah they were off light <laughs> you will dress up and go to school it's not for anything to guarantee really fun in school but it sometimes can be very annoying especially when you finish your classes early and you're back to the hostel and there's no light but it's for a good cause so i get that and this question, whether you want to live off campus, you don't want to live off campus, you will still pay accommodation fee because the accommodation fee cannot be subtracted from the school fees. Everything is 895000 Whether you live off campus, you live on campus, you will still pay the 895000 The question you should be asking is, can you live off campus? Like, is it livable? Because <laughs> we are in a village. <laughs> when I resound this thing in your ears that we are in a village, maybe you think I'm actually exaggerating it, but... We are in the kind of village that you still get to see mud houses. <laughs> okay, I'm exaggerating it a little bit. We are in that kind of village. So, living off campus here is not a good I don't think it's that much of a good option. Like, is, is it, does it sound right in your ears? But the hostel facilities in the school is actually very okay. And I feel like if you come, living off campus will not really be something you will consider. But in any case, if you want to stay off campus or not, you are still going to pay the required hostel accommodation fee. We have sporting facilities, we have basketball court, we have volleyball court, we have lawn tennis court, but the sporting facilities are, they are not the, the, I'm trying to be subtle here, but basically you get my point. We do not, throughout my stay in this school, I came to this school in 2018, throughout my stay in this school, they haven't gone for PUGA, for that's Private University Games Association. I don't know where they've organized and we've not gone or they've not been organizing, but either way, we've not gone for PUGA. 
then they just concluded Lugan. My school did not participate in Lugan. Sometimes it gets me wondering, like, why are we not participating in these sporting activities? But who am I to say anything? At okay, yes, IU is starting a FMD program from this year, and they said school fees is 1,560,700 naira. So that's like 1.5 million and something. So someone asked if the, the school fees is just for one year or for the whole six years I'll be for the duration of the full farm day no how can one million five hundred and sixty thousand be for the duration of the full farm day when normal farm normal pharmacy that's the farm b also is eight hundred and ninety five thousand for just one year so it's it's basically for one year IU offers has like a jubilee program for direct entry into 200 level so yes we have more about those that's um, the jubilee pro program you can check the website for that yes there's actually a gym the gym is owned by a private individual so it's not like a school gym but it's within the school premises and yes it's accessible to people age limits I don't know, none that I know of. I don't know of any age limit at all, but I can't really say about age limits because I do not know about that. This question is based on your department because if you are carrying dreads in the school, there is not a problem. But if you carry dreadlocks and come to law, they will cut your hair. <laughs> it's based on your department, basically. The school as a whole doesn't have a problem with dreads, but does your department allow dread is the question you should be asking. It's a lot is semi useless in this school. Basically, the strongest network in this school is MTN. At least in my hostel, Serena Hostel, and in Amazon Hostel, the strongest network is MTN. Then, Ethel is trying. Glow. Where is Glow strong? <laughs> then, Nine Mobile, just give up. Then another thing I want to talk about is something they call summer in my school. So I noticed that a lot of schools don't have summer. And I was really surprised to hear that schools do not have summer because I thought this was a standard practice. But basically in my school, if you fail a course in if you fail any course during the semester, you have the option of writing a course during summer. Summer is basically like a program they organize for people that failed courses and they organize during summer period, during July, August, September period. They organize first semester summer. For the courses you failed in first semester and second semester summer for the courses you failed in second semester so it's only when you refuse or you fail to write the course in summer or you wrote the course in summer and you failed the course that's when you can carry over the course okay, there's no direct entry for medicine and pharmacy so in case you're a direct entry student take note if you're applying for the superman direct entry for medicine and pharmacies either you're not able to come or you come back and start from 100 level that's not for law I have dress code. My dress code is black shoe, white shirt, black skirt, and blazer. You can wear black skirt, you can wear navy blue skirt, you can wear gray skirt, that's dark gray skirt. And if you do not follow up the dress code, they are gonna sleep you. Yes. The law department actually has what they call sleep. The sleeping is not only for offenses of the house to do with dressing, it's for other offenses, offenses of maybe disrespect of lost officials just plenty, plenty of, of um, offenses but for dress code offense the fine is 1000 naira so if you have 1000 naira to pay per time you dress wrongly maybe your skirt is short your your, your white is fancy or something like that then no while like you can dress wrongly but if you know you do not have the money just generally dress according to how they said you should dress that's just the thing that has to do with the dress code personally for me within the last month or so i i got like four slips for short skirts for long slits for fancy white i was just getting a lot of slips and a slip is one key and it's actually a very annoying fee to pay so when it comes to dress code law has a very strict dress code that they follow up with most times then we have for people in pharmacy, med lab, nursing, their dress code is just basically corporate. And the corporate, they don't want to follow up with the corporate like that. So the dress code is just majorly corporate in that department and they don't follow up with it that way to the T, the way law follows up with their dress code. Then another department that has dress code is business admin. Business admin dress code is blue, blue and black, but that's only on a Monday. So apart from Monday, the rest days are free. So I feel like it's only just two 
department that majorly has dress code. The rest of the department, you can freestyle your dressing. I think interior too has a dress code, but their dress code is not every day either. Their dress code is, I think, is it black and white? I'm not sure of the international relation too, but their dress code, so I don't think is every day. So the only department that actually has like a strict, strict dress code that you follow up with every day is law. And I feel like law has a dress code in all departments, so IU is not an exception. And no, you cannot wear trousers in law. I don't know why. So basically, for books, part of your other charges, that's the payment I told you about initially, is a place they call book deposit. So that book deposit fee is more like book deposit slash library. So the book deposit fee is 15,000 and it's a compulsory payment. So once you pay the 15,000 naira, they give you a library card. So it entitles you to a library card. And also, you, you have where they call bookshop. So you go to the bookshop and you pick books worth 15,000 naira. Do you understand? So you pick books worth 15,000 naira. Anyway, your 15,000 naira stop, you stop then. For the rest of the books, any other book you want, you have to pay for it with cash. But we do not write posterior me. In my set, what I did was screening. Screening meaning you just bring your document, your jam results, your work results, just basically those your credentials, your documents basically, and you're going to submit it and that's all. You're not writing any exam, no posterior me, nothing of that sort. And all these questions of what is allowed and what is not allowed, it depends on your department. For law, nose ring, some lecturers have a problem with it, some lecturers don't have a problem. And in general, in the dress code, it's not allowed, but it's, it depends on the lecturer at this point. But for the full school as a well, whole, you can wear nose ring and comfortably pass off. Nobody is going to be asking you why you're wearing nose ring, why you're wearing leg chain, why you're wearing, why your nails. Nails are nails not a problem at all. You can either cook or you can buy food. Personally for me, I still towards buying food because it's not every time I have the opportunity and have the time and have the energy to cook. But if you can cook, why not? We have like market days. We have like a standard market. That's Okada market. You go to the market. The market is every, I think, for four days. So you go to the market, you purchase the things you want to buy and you cook with it. Buying food, the least you can use, you can use 500 to get like a plate of rice and stew and beef 500 should be enough it's only when you're a luxurious eater like maybe you eat more or you eat more protein or stuff something like that that's when you know that okay you have to aim higher but with 500 now you should be able to get like an average meal that will serve you well at least i think personal life is quite comfortable like the only thing that has to do with you, the only flaw I will feel about the hostel life is okay, every morning you have to go and get bus and stuff. But the hostel life is quite comfortable, at least you get water, you get light, though not 24 hours, but you have your room. The rooms we have in the school are mostly four man rooms and some three man rooms. And then if you're in final year, you get to stay alone or you stay in a two man room, depending on the size of your room. But hostel life is actually quite okay. When it comes to religion, it's a very liberal school. I've said this severally. For churches, we have over like eight to nine different churches in this school. We have Winners, we have Catholic, we have Mountain of Fire, we have Christ Embassy, we have Redeem. For Muslims, we have a mosque in this school. So when it comes to religion, you're not forced to go to church, you're not forced to go to mosque. Either way, it's, you choose the one you want. But when it comes to churches, there are various churches in this school. And you pick the church that you resonate with so so first semester school is always kind of serious academically serious and everything because first semester doesn't really have much activities it's now second semester that has the bulk of activities second semester has our founders week second semester has students week Second semester has second semester basically has a lot of activities. Students week, yeah, your dinner, everything. I feel like I did a video on like our students week, the dinner, rally, everything. So you can check that out. But they have like sporting activities, they have in the in their whole sports, there are sporting activities between different hostels and everything. But those are all the second semester. First semester is just academically serious. What do you bring to school? Essentials, see, hmm. open your eye and listen to me because I remember during my turn, I checked and checked and checked for videos or guidelines to know when I'm going to be coming to this school and I didn't get any guidelines, so I just freestyled it and I ended up regretting it. So there are a lot of things 
that are essential to bring to this. First is drum, buta. It's, it's, it's necessary, it's needed. Buta, bucket, those are like necessities in hundred them because you need to fetch water. You need to store water because you, you won't get to see water running 24 hours. So you need to store water in case water is not running and you do not want to be caught up in a situation of not having water to beat. That situation joke. Another thing you should bring is gas. Gas for cooking. When I was coming to this school, I didn't know they allowed gas, so I didn't call me gas. And the thing you need to know is that if you're privileged enough to buy these things from house, please do so because something they're selling 2,000 naira outside, they're going to be selling like 35 or 3,000 naira in school because it's expected that you put 100 level people, they don't know how much the price is, and they're going to be inflating the prices, and especially because of the fact that you're buying these things from Benin. So the price in this school is actually double of what you are normally going to pay. So if you can buy these things from house, please be my guest and buy it. Another thing you need to buy is fan because Okada is hot. See, I'm not exaggerating, but when I saw one meme that said Okada is close to the sun, it actually hits hard because this place is fucking as hot. So, if you can buy a standing fan, it's going to be very, very convenient and pleasant for you. Like, for 100 level, I know a lot of people that didn't come with standing fan and they had to buy standing fan in 100 level. But if you can't buy a standing fan, you can still cope. It's not like it's an essential, essential, but it's something that you just need. And I feel like those are the major essentials your drum, your gas, your standing fan. And the other things you're going to be bringing are the things you would normally bring in university. No, you're not bringing foam. No, you're not bringing pillow. School provides foam and pillow. You just bring your bed sheets. Basically, the things you take to university on a normal, your bed sheets, your books, and these things you can still buy them. It's not like you can't buy them, you can still buy them. It's just more convenient to buy them from the house. If you have any further questions, oh, if you have any further questions, just leave it down in the comment section. And I just might make another video to answer your questions. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm very, very sure this video was very, very scattered, and I'm sincerely sorry. I promise to do better next time. I'm just not as coordinated as I would have loved to be. So, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.